Welcome back. We're here to preview Saturday's Premier League game between QPR and Sunderland. They're two winless teams, and for QPR especially, two losses, just not good enough. Oh, it's been a terrible start to the season for them. I mean, losing at home to Hull on the first game of the season, that's a poor start. And then thoroughly outplayed by Tottenham, 4-0. They, it could have been anything, to be honest. They are lucky to get away with four. Didn't really create anything. They had one good chance and um, from open play and a couple from corners, but they never looked in danger of troubling Tottenham in that match. They need to improve big time if they're going to stay up this season. I mean, Sunderland, they've drawn both their two, first two games. Mm. It's an OK start. It is, yeah. I mean, obviously, coming off last season, they needed a good run, didn't they, to stay in the league. You know, they'd want to start the season without a defeat, which they have done. Last time out against United, you know, probably deserved the point. I mean, you look for their team, Wes Brown, John O'Shea, both good defenders. They keep those two fit, especially Brown. Um, Adam Johnson, obviously, was injured for the United game. Will Buckley came in, did very well. They've got goals up front. I mean, I'd expect them to have a good season. I don't think they'll be struggling like they did last season. Poirier knows his team now as well. I think that's important. So I think they'll do well. Yeah, I mean, let's look at the QPR player in particular, Loic Remy. With Giroud now injured at Arsenal for, say, two, three months, they're saying, they're linked with Remy again. I mean, how important for QPR is it that they keep Remy? Absolutely vital for me. If, if they don't keep him, they don't stay up. I mean, Charlie Austin, he scores a lot of goals, but he's got problems with injuries, and Remy is just a class above him. I mean, Joey Barton, he's set up more chance, goal-scoring chances than any other player in the Premier League so far, and if they need someone like Remy to put them in the back of the net, QPR haven't scored yet, and Remy is the, the one player they need to keep above any others, I think. I mean, Sunderland, they've been starting Fletcher and Wickham up front, but neither of them has got on the score sheet yet. Do you think he'll continue with two up front? I mean, I'm not too sure about two up front with Sunderland. I mean... I understand the way they've got Johnson etc in the wide areas Larson who can both deliver a ball that's for certain you know and Fletcher and Wickham are both good in the air but I'm not too sure that's quite worked at the minute I mean if you're looking at it probably Fletcher would start if it was me purely got, he's had an injury problems but I think he guarantees you I think if he has a good run he, he can hit 15 league, goal, 15 league goals but um, I'm not sure I think Poirier will go with that because Wickham was obviously so good last season but for me I would probably look to get two wide and I'd probably get one off, off a centre forward but you know so they'll both be going for their first win this weekend. Do you think either side will get a win? I think I've got this down as a draw, I think. I think this will be one all. I think it will be tight. You know, the, it's, the QPR crowd are obviously going to get a bit edgy. They want to get a win under their belt. But I think Sunderland have got... They're good, good defensively at the moment. So I think that'll be a 1-1 draw. What about you, Barnes? What's your score prediction? Hard one to call for me. I, th I wouldn't be surprised to see a draw, but I think I'm going to go for a Sunderland 2-1 win. Okay, I'm going to go 2-2. So we've got uh, two draws and a Sunderland win.